cartoonish designs are very popular among artists or people who want to customize their clothes because they are pretty simple. Like all you need to do is to transfer some character from paper onto clothing and then fill areas with color. And that's all. But these seemingly simple designs are actually not that simple because in order for them to look good, they should look clean like clear lines, smooth layers, and if you don't know like basic of clothes customization, like how to apply paint, how to work with layers, there is a big risk that your artwork will look tacky. And I saw a lot of tacky cartoonish designs on clothes. So in this video, I want to give a couple of tips, uh, how to create smooth lines, how to create clean, clear layers, and how to create beautiful cartoonish customization. I'm Daria, and welcome back to Art Fashion Channel. And the sponsor of this video is my little princess, my daughter. <laughs> and this is the first time she asked me for customization. She gave me this denim jacket and asked me to create a SpongeBob inspired customization on it. And I'm going to sketch out design on the jacket using chalk, but if you're a beginner, of course, you should use transfer paper to transfer your design from paper onto clothing. But first, let's talk about composition. Uh, composition is very important. Uh, like, if your artwork is too small, it will just get lost on this denim jacket and it won't look very good. Um, so yeah, you should see denim jacket as a canvas and you should create artwork which will look good on this size of a canvas. Um, and also I want to talk about um, designs, uh, I call them rectangular designs between the seams. And they are very popular, I don't know why. And, and honestly, I don't like such designs, but I don't like them. Because first of all, trying to fit artwork between the seams, artist has to cut some parts, for example, half of the face, ears, I don't know, half of the body. <laughs> and I always don't understand, like, why would you cut something like you have a lot of space <laughs> and also such artworks for me are disconnected from the denim jacket like artwork lives its own life and denim jacket lives its own life but i love to create designs with connection when design is connected with the denim jacket and they work together and about such jacket you can say it's a well designed a denim jacket. So yeah, I would not recommend you to create such artwork between the seams, but if you want to, for example, to paint some uh, scene from the movie and it needs to be framed, uh, then I would recommend to you to add some details, some lettering, some elements, some pattern on the other side of the denim jacket as well to create this connection between denim jacket and artwork. So I won't limit myself in any way. I have a perfect space, perfect canvas, without any seams, without distractions. So I'm gonna use this whole space completely for customization. And here is the main hero of customization and a bunch of other characters. And actually I got a clear directions from my little customer how each character should look like, like the pose, facial expression. <laughs> So on the back side I'm drawing Spongebob, it's gonna catch jellyfishes and the background is gonna be flowers, bubbles, like such helpful elements which will create an aesthetic of this animated series. And quality control! <laughs> And first I decided to use spray paint for the background um, because like all the characters will be very smooth, they will be very clean <laughs> and um, I kind of want to destroy this perfection of the characters by creating a bit messy background. And now it's time to paint with colors and for painting I'm gonna use fabric paints or brand Pebeo, Pebeo set the color opaque colors, paints with a good coverage and for painting on denim, because denim is a colorful rough fabric, I recommend to use paints with a good coverage. But first I want to talk about um, basic layer and I'm talking about basic layer in probably near every my video but so often I'm seeing the same mistake. like. People do not know when they need to apply base layer. And base layer is a white layer which you need to apply when you work with dark clothes. But the problem is that people use base layer on all kinds of clothes, like on light blue denim, on 
very very light denim your white denim they still apply white base layer or they want to for example to create black artwork on blue denim and like the color of artwork is darker than the color of their clothes and still they create base layer but if your colors if your fabric paints have good coverage they will easily cover especially if you need to apply color which is darker than the color of your clothes only when you need to create artwork which is much lighter than the color of your clothes then you need to create white base layer and also the, the most common mistake uh, artists apply such thick base layer it's such like you can't see fabric under it like it's like a shield of paint and it's definitely a mistake and that is one of the reasons why your artwork uh, will look tacky it will shine it will be very sticky and it will have the feeling that it will just get off like anytime <laughs> it will peel off from your clothes so yeah you don't need a uh, white base layer when you work with light clothes when you need to apply a color which is darker than the color of your clothes and your base layer should be very thin. <laughs> so as yellow color is brighter and lighter than the color of my denim jacket, first I could create a white base layer and then on top of it yellow color. But I just want to show you that like, if your denim jacket is light color and your paints have a good coverage, white base layer is not such a necessity. With two layers of yellow paint, I will create the same color, the same bright yellow color as I could create using white base layer. And for the colors which are darker than my denim jacket, like brown color for example, even one layer will be enough. And as you can see, I'm making very thin layers and the same rule is for the white base layer as well. You don't need to make a shield of paint to create uh, bright colors. Like two thin layers is enough if you have a good coverage paint. And like um, using as less paint as possible, you're making artwork which looks like the part of the denim, the part of the fabric. But when you use too much paint, artwork just looks tacky, I don't know just looks like some enormous amount of paint which in any time can crack, can peel off, like anything can happen. <laughs> and also very important rule in cartoonish customization is to let each layer dry. So I apply it first layer and then when I touch it and feel that it's dry, only then I apply second layer. And if you don't want to wait, you can use hair dryer to dry your layers. And for the outline, I recommend to use small size brush and fabric paint and I do not recommend to use fabric markers, even it's much easier to create outline with fabric markers. But fabric markers, they don't have like the same deepness of color, like you can create much deeper black color with fabric paint. And it can be hard to create an outline with fabric paint, it can be hard to apply a paint to create thin lines, especially if you have a good coverage paint. So you can dilute your paint a bit, just add a couple of drops of water and it will be much easier for you to create a thin lines with fabric paint. And like overall, for example, in this customization, I'm using uh, good coverage paints which are not very fresh, like I used them already a couple of times and they dried a bit. So uh, to be able to create a smooth layers, uh, to apply you no know, paint evenly, I add a bit water to the paint, I dilute paint a bit. So yeah, water is your helper, don't afraid to use water in customization. And to create flowers on the background, I'm gonna use fabric outliners just to add an extra effect to customization because the more effects uh, your customization has, the more interesting it is. Thank you. 
and here I'm painting jellyfishes and you can see that I don't cut them in any way like I paint on top of the seam and I don't make boundaries that I can paint here but here is the sleeve or here is the seam I can't paint here like you can see your jacket as a whole canvas yeah your jacket has uh, sleeves your jacket has front side and you can place your artwork wherever you want <laughs> And regarding colors, cartoonish designs are very colorful, but you don't need paint for each color. Like many colors you can create by mixing basic colors. For example, this orange color I created by mixing yellow, red and white. Then green color I will create by mixing green, yellow and a bit white. Like most of the colors can be created by mixing basic colors. And actually I have just basic colors. From not basic colors I have only purple because it's pretty hard to create beautiful purple color. And also I have magenta pink because it's also hard to create by mixing other colors. And also I have a turquoise. And that's pretty all, like, <laughs> the colors which I have. And front side. And I have very beautiful pockets here. And I definitely want to use them in customization. But first I'm gonna spray paint front side. And by the way, spray paint will help me to connect back side and front side with one idea and the aesthetic. And I will place characters inside the pockets. And I think it will look very fun. And here I'm creating small interaction between characters by painting eyes looking at the direction of other character. I think it's fun. <laughs> and on the pockets I'm painting elements from the back side, again to connect the back side and front side. And it's also very important in designing. Because just putting a bunch of characters from the same movie on the jacket is not enough. You need to connect them all in some way. And more about designing, I will talk in one of my next videos. I will give there a lot of tips on how to design denim jacket. So stay tuned. Again, connecting back side of the sleeve with the front side of the sleeve. And the last character and my little customer said that Patrick should look like that because he's kind of a dumb. <laughs> You know, it's been a long time since I created cartoonish design on clothes, so I had a lot of fun in this video. Now I'll show you the final result. My model is ready for modeling, so give us your like and support, and see you next time. Yeah.